Good morning. My name is Virginia Fuochi and I am the author of the research article Probiotic Properties of Lactobacillus fermentum strains isolated from human oral samples and description of their antibacterial activity. There are nearly 100 trillion bacteria in the body that together form the human microbiota. They are good bacteria known as probiotics because they contribute to homeostasis maintenance. Therefore, they are live organisms which bring benefit to the health of the host. A probiotic microorganism should meet some criteria, being of human origin, resisting the acidity of the stomach, action of bile, and antagonizing pathogenic microorganisms, producing antimicrobial substance. These molecules are proteins, known as bacteriogens. The aim of this study was done to evaluate the probiotic properties of lactobacillus fermentum strains. L fermentum was chosen because it shows the high rates of survival in the gastrointestinal tract, and moreover, many studies describe the antimicrobial properties of this species, but its bacteriogens are not fully characterized yet. The strains were evaluated for the determination of the profile of susceptibility to antibiotics, resistance to biosols and low pH, production of hydrogen peroxide, biofilm production, and more particularly the ability to produce bacteriogens. Our results showed that strains tested have good probiotic properties and produce bacteriogens. Generally, they have not a narrow spectrum of action. However, this was not the case, since we observed a broad spectrum of action. One strain, called the LAC42, gave an excellent activity. Its superadult was active also against Pseudomonas serruginosa and Clebsella pneumonia. Therefore, we further investigated the chemical characterization and the set of experiments demonstrated a molecule which has very low molecular weight and a particularly interfilic component. To the regard, advanced the chromatographic analysis are ongoing for a complete identification. Furthermore, the most important feature is the safety. Our experiments performed on microglia cells demonstrated a complete safety of LAC42 and its bacterial cells. In conclusion, this preliminary data demonstrated the efficacy and safety of our strain. And future studies are now warranted in animal model of hepatic encephalopathy.